We're now moving over to talk about text and we'll be using the text menu for a lot of this, the different dockers and of course the text tool over here on the right hand side. We'll start off in this discussion just with a quick review of how to use the text tool. Now I'm just going to scroll up a little bit here and let's just do the same thing I did down here, just a basic text. We'll do more fancy stuff as we go. But I'm just going to, using the text tool, grab and create a text block or text area just like that. Now if you see up here, it's just hard to see, but there's a little blinking cursor right there, upper left hand corner of this. I can then type in my text in here just like that. You can do all of your standard modifications. I can, you know, enter, I can return, I can come in here, let's just right click and here we have text properties. We can align, straighten our text, we can change our case in here, upper lower case, spell check, our grammar check, thesaurus, edit the text. So we have all kinds of options in here for working with our text. And I don't know what kind of house plant this particular plant is. I probably should look that up before the next video. As you can see in here, it's pretty easy just to, you know, type away, just as if you're working with any standard typography program. Now, if we scroll in a little bit, you'll notice that as I scroll in, the area here, our type area on the top, moves in to match the size of the box. Same thing on the left-hand side, so we can see where we're at. All of these little bits in here, these are the tabs. We'll be working with our tabs in just a little bit. And as I pull the box in, the type automatically reconforms to match the box. There we go. Let's pull it back out again. Let's just select that type in here. And I'll choose a different typeface. And notice you can have different typefaces in the same type box, multiple typefaces in the same type box. Let's change the type size on this. This as I roll over these, I get a sample of what that type is going to look like. I don't have to actually select that yet. I can just roll over it and take a look and see if I like the look of that. If I do, just click and it then sets that in place. We also, of course, can come over here and change the type style. And just like the size, I can just roll over these and I get a preview right there on the page of what the text is going to look like in this particular typeface before I even choose a typeface. So it allows me to quickly just kind of scroll down like this and try out a whole bunch of different typefaces with my actual text on the page. Just make sure you have your text selected when you're doing this. The nice thing about this is it makes it very easy to quickly determine the typeface you want to use. You don't have to you know, go back and forth a whole lot trying different things. You can just scroll down and see how they look. So it's very easy, as you can see here, to work with text inside of the Corel program. It actually is my favorite program for working with text out of all the different drawing programs out there. This is the one that I tend to like using the most when I'm doing this kind of type work. It just choose a nice, nice fat typeface in there. So there we go, all of our standard type tools. Of course, it can adjust the position, the object size, the rotation, all of our standard options are up here as well. If we move on to a different tool, such as the pick tool over here, and I come back, I still can control the bounding box here with the pick tool. If I go back to the type tool or text tool, I can then come back in and edit my text any way I want to. So it's very easy to work back and forth. Notice as I do this, it automatically brings back up the proper properties box up here across the top for working with the type. So again, that's just a review then of working with adding and editing our type. Let's now move on and begin taking a look at some of the additional tools and functions available to us for working with type inside of 
Corel Draw. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.